Guys, how are you today? Um, this is Sebastian with another tutorial. Sorry, I'm sitting in my car. Uh, it's too loud in the house, so uh, I'm on my pro. Gonna show you this uh, this track I'm work or not track I'm working on, but this sort of resampling process I've been saying I'd help with. Um, there is many tricks uh, that I know that a lot of other producers have taught me. And told me uh, to keep secrets and out of their respects I will keep them secret but this is my way of doing it um, I just created this in Nemesis it's kind of a drony kind of Reese synth uh, still working on it but uh but yeah let's get to the point this video is a Nemesis video um, in this video, we'll be learning a bit about uh, a bit about uh, Nemesis. So uh, we covered the oscillator in my other overview video. Um, I'm sorry, I I was a little quiet. Uh, it was a night, and and the family was sleeping, so I thought I'd be quiet about it. Uh, but uh, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, the additive editor in Nemesis is very, very good. Um, you can basically build your own waveforms, uh, mutilate, mutate, uh, whatever you want to do with your waveforms. Now, uh, the thing about this is, uh, is it could get kind of messy at times, and if you don't know what you're doing with the partials, you could really screw up your sound. Now, uh, I'm going to resynthesize something because uh, I could show you how flexible this is. Um, it is really flexible. Like, I just threw one of my own waves in there. And this is a this is resample, being resynthesized. And yes, it does have a resynthesis, resynthesis uh, engine in it, similar to Electrax, but... More on the Nemesis approach. So uh, let's get started. We're going to be uh, throwing my additive editor and we're going to take some of the highs out. And a little bit of this right here. And this is basically just taking some of the partials out, some of the signs that have made this. And this is the additive part of Nemesis, if I haven't said it yet. So. Uh, I want to bring these up to kind of make it a little fat right there, uh, right there. Uh, and if you didn't notice, you got this edit edit menu, which will make things a lot easier for you and has some hidden things like clarify, noiseify, octifies, uh, move up and down, uh, unclarify, spec, meaning, meaning spectral. Uh, LP and HP for high pass, low pass filters. Um, noise gate light, uh, noise gate medium. You could clean up your sound with these. Let's try it. So it kind of noise gated that. But I'm going to go for the medium because this, it has a lot of stuff going in, in it. It had a lot of distortion. Uh, I, I used a couple synth modes. I used the format, which I'll do videos on these. The format and the rezo to kind of mush it up together and kind of create my own sound. So uh, we're going to be doing this on hard sync. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, and we're also going to throw in the additive spectral anal uh, editor on this too. So we're going to make this kind of a rampy. Don't bring them too high or it'll kind of make a make a, a sinoid out of them unless you're going for that kind of sound uh make sure you stay clear of the sign style so don't bring this all the way up or the highs are going to be up and it's going to turn into a like a signy mess so uh i guess i'll do for now okay get my little keypad out And we're going to be making a sound with this, and I'm going to show you how to mutilate it with the additive editor in here and how to change it. So uh, we're going to stay in our little hard sink, and we're going to add a 
envelope to this. Just about a little bit. Kind of got a percussive sound. We do not want that. So I'm going to bring up the decay a little bit and the sustain just a tiny. And uh, maybe a little attack for a little, you know, soft kind of pluck sound. And uh, let's bring the Neo FM up a little bit and let's uh, drift it. And let's kind of bring this up to one. Sounds kind of noisy, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here. And we're going to take some of the partials till it sounds nice and clean. It's trying to demo for Mall. I might do a future uh, overview review on it. That is my series. Sorry, I haven't done one last week. Uh, I didn't have internet for quite a quite some time, so I got a new connection going. It's a lot faster and everything. That's what we want. And let's bring the phase up. Kind of a plucky bass sound, but we're going to bring the filter up to about here, and we're also going to throw an envelope on this, but we're going to throw a sharp envelope on it. So kind of make it a little a little plucky. I want a plucky kind of bassy tone, so uh, we'll just bring this up. So bring this down a little bit more. I guess that's a little too much decay. That's what we wanted. We wanted that. Now, uh, before uh, before I depart, uh, there's a lot of I need to talk about about the additive uh, additive editor. So uh, we're just gonna go and we're gonna use this filter now. So a quick trick is you just go here, you copy os to os two. So we'll make this another uh, another dimension in the sound. So uh, we'll take the filter off, right? And uh, we're gonna resynthesize something else. Uh, we're gonna resynthesize uh, e e k type one, which is a evoke type type bass that I was working on. Uh, check out his tutorials. Uh, he's really good, getting up there. So. Uh, so uh, I got this little waveform right here. Uh, a little too high. Sorry if I hurt you, your eardrums, but uh, we're going to bring that down. And in volume. So we're going to bring the bass down a little bit. And we don't want that, do we? So we're just going to bring the envelope down a little bit. And uh, we'll sh we should have this. But we're going to bring this up a little bit. And we got a little snappy like pluck sound. Kind of a bassy tone. This is what we wanted. Now, uh, I guess I could finish this sound on here. And I will try to make sounds for my Blue 2 uh, tutorials as well. Um, this is this is new to me. or ugh. This is a new thing, new approach I'm going for. Is Each tutorial, I'll show off a new sound. I'll make it, showing off the features. So the additive editor, and we're also going to throw a fat tune 2 on this. In this, this patch will be available too for download. Um, so uh, if you wanna, if if it's your uh, if it's your cup of tea, you can throw this on there. 
But uh, I usually like to just throw in like a reverb. I don't really use the arpeggiator. I'm, I, I kind of I'm one of those guys that likes to make them manually in a sequencer or play them manually. So. Uh, And uh, our mod wheel will be controlling the feedback of one and the feedback of two, which will kind of add a little, a little more grit to the, to the oscillators. So yeah, um, that's the additive editor for, for Nemesis. Uh, just play with it. Um, clean up your sounds the way you want. Uh, it's got it's got more editing options and uh, yeah, just play around with it. Uh, make your own waves. Uh, you don't have to use the waves they give you. You can you can make your own. You can even edit the waves they give you and make your own waves. Uh, it's all what Nemesis is about. Uh, this is Sebastian Weaver. Um, please subscribe. I have more content on, on the way. I have a blue two. Uh, preset presentation video coming um, so yeah plenty of tutorials are going to be tomorrow making up from last week so please subscribe comment if you have any questions and like this video bye